Ну. See, and it's, it's up on Twitch on my side. Oh yeah, oh, okay, the game's still running. Dip out, uh, I'll be right back, I'm gonna dip Is your out stream of... going, or is it cut that off? No, I cut, the, the my stream is cut off, but I'm gonna dip out of, uh, cast and See if that helps. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings us second and nine. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike 56, Mike 56. Nope, I still got nothing. I, I mean, I can watch Twitch and call it that way, but I'm going to be delayed. I'm frozen on both sides, so there's not much I can do right now. Alright. Uh, Alright, ECFL. Don't know if you can hear me. Um, thanks for getting the fours up in chat. I'm going to be calling this off of Twitch, so I may be delayed a bit. Actually, I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Oh, okay. They can hear us. <laughs> Alright, uh, second and seven here for ECU. Matt's in the shotgun. Gonna drop back to pass. Take off to the right-hand side. Gonna pick up eight yards. And a new set of downs. All right, uh, if you can hear me, that's great. Like I said, it might be on a slight delay. Hand off to the left side. Going to take it past the first down marker and down to about the 20-something yard line there, 20-yard line. Ziegler going to take it. Has a nice run there. Yeah, down to the 23-yard line. Yeah, I'm extremely behind on you. I just barely saw the play of Chris Matz taking off on the run. All right, well, Matt's going to launch one to the end zone, and it's picked off. Oh, huge defensive play there. Smoke Vasquez climbing the ladder, stealing the touchdown. And Louisiana Lafayette now with a chance to go back the other way. Poppy hands it off, up the middles, plenty of room. Stover's going to pick up a first down and more. Great run there by Anthony Stover. Great game we've got here as well, 27-27 at the moment. Poppy in the shotgun set. Going to hand it off, and Stover going to only pick up a yard on that. All right, my game is now caught back up, so I'm, I'm back. Poppy with the empty shotgun set here. Doesn't like what he sees, changing things up. Going to drop the pass and hit oh, from both sides. Sacked for a nine-yard loss, and that's going to bring up third and seven. Yeah, going to fill that one in the morning for sure. Nine, nine, nine. Ready? Round 50. Round 
Yeah, those those ricochet shots like that are never fun. Um, shotgun set here on third down, sending a man in motion to the top of the screen. Sets up a screen to the other side, but that was read like a cheap novel. Uh, Louisiana Lafayette here forced a punt after the big defensive play got them the ball back. Yeah, definitely not the drug thing we're wanting to put together. Um, I mean, nobody would want to put that type of drive together. Is this one of the lowest scoring games ever? In, uh, no, not ever. Um, we've had some real snooze fests on occasion. <laughs> if you go all the way back to season one, there's, there's been a couple games that have ended like 17-16. So, Matt's back to pass here on first down. Gets sacked for an eight yard loss. Brendan Gaucher gets in there for the tackle. So, that's going to bring up second and 18 here. Matt's going to come out in the shotgun set. Three receivers split out. Tight end going to go in motion to the bottom of the screen. Plenty of time to throw. Finds it on the, finds the receiver on the far sideline. That's Rojo. Five-yard catch. Going to bring up third and shorter. <laughs> Still third and long. It's just third and less. Yeah. There you go. Shotgun set, four receivers split out in the formation. Matt's quick drop, throws over the middle, oh, and it's drop. Good defense there to break up the pass. And ECU forced to punt again. Both teams right now are playing some pretty good defense. Yeah, I will say that the defense on both sides has, has been really good tonight. Um... You know, they, the reason that this game is tied up very much uh, is the defenses from both teams. Uh, shutting things down, forcing a lot of fourth downs. Louisiana Lafayette here. Poppy coming out under center. Quick drop, throws it out of bounds. I don't know if he was feeling pressure or he just didn't like the play call, but that's going to bring up second and ten. Three receivers to the top of your screen and the shotgun throws that way and picked off. It's going back the other way and breaks a tackle down to the five yard line. Wow. Mr. Sandman saying good night. Poppy's third interception of the game. Oh, yeah, I mean, what is that now? Seven total turn turnovers from each team. Uh, total? Yeah, I think it. I think it is. Actually, it might be eight. <laughs> and good touchdown for ECU. Throw over the middle to Castle, and ECU going to take the lead late here, 33-27, pending the extra point. Great throw by Matt in traffic there. Extra point kick is up and good. So 34 27 with 527 left in the fourth quarter. ECU putting some pressure on the Cajuns here. Yeah, if there weren't any chance of uh, not letting this one slip away from them, they need to make something happen real quick. Uh, Givens with a nice return there. See if they can use a little bit of that momentum to get things going. Definitely don't want to turn the ball over again. Oh. Poppy coming out in the four receiver shotgun set. Hands it off this time and Stover Stover puts it on the ground. Oh no, and ECU recovers. Wow. Just wow. 
Yeah, I, and uh, that's not going to get reviewed. That ball was out before he hit the ground for sure. This is a huge change of events right here. Matt comes out in the shotgun, fakes the handoff, throws wide open, and that's going to put him down to the three-yard line. Scott Campbell with a 25-yard catch. Two fifty-six on the night so far for Matt with the touchdown. Three picks, though. Uh, um, I, you know what? They're getting offense when they, let's say that, coming out in the goal line set here trying to punch it in and Ziegler is going to find the space to drive it into the end zone and ECU up 40 to 27 huge turn of events here in the last 30 seconds yeah that's uh that's an unfortunate turn of events for the Cajuns um plenty of game still you know so I wouldn't get two down but that's definitely uh, a punch to the gut. Yeah, that's a that's a big punch to the gut right there. Louisiana Lafayette needs to do something here on this drive. They're going to hand it off to Stover, and he's not going to go anywhere. Um... Seems like a rather conservative call considering they've thrown 60 passes tonight. <laughs> yeah, Big Poppy is feeling the pressure now, so he's probably losing some composure. Yeah, composure might be uh, the issue right now. See how he handles this. And, oof, screen pass thrown out of bounds. Yeah, definitely feeling a bit rattled back there. He needs to... Uh, take a few breaths and focus on this third down play here takes the snap throws it and screen play that's gonna go nowhere and that's gonna bring up fourth down man and ECU's defense has just stepped up and taking control when they needed to yeah that this ECU defense has been really impressive here in the fourth quarter, uh, forcing two turnovers, giving their offense excellent field position, and uh, forcing the punt here, and they're going to get the ball in positive territory again. Uh, is it possible the ECU takes it out of reach here? I, I mean, it's possible. If they score a touchdown, uh, they're going to have to, they're going to have to burn some clock. Um, Louisiana Lafayette can score three touchdowns in four minutes. I like they are that good, but uh, the momentum for their offense is not on the, their side right now. So yeah, I think ECU could put this out of range. Matt's going to feel the pressure and lose three yards, almost able to escape the pocket there. Greedley, 11 tackles on the night, three for loss. Great game on defense for him. So third and seven here for Pirates. Big defensive play here coming up for Louisiana Lafayette. They can hold them uh, fourth down here. Makes the Pistol formation. Mats takes the snap, completes the pass, but can't get to the first down marker. So that does bring up fourth and six. And they are going to try and pin them down inside the ten. That was a quick drive. Yeah, I mean, Lafayette got what they needed there with uh, the quick defensive stop. ECU obviously going to burn as much clock as they can here before they kick the ball away, but uh, you know, they're going to have about 240 to, to work with, and that's plenty of time. 
kick is away, and it's going to bounce through the end zone for a touchback. So... I forgot that there's... <laughs> Punter is literally named Punter. Um... <laughs> Shotgun formation. Poppy completes it to the near sideline for five yards. Jamal Allen falling out of bounds. Five receivers again here on second and five. Poppy going to throw to the far sideline this time. Has it complete and Gibbons first down and more. Gets him out to the 45. Hurries it up to the line. Yeah, I mean, good play there, but... Definitely need to keep this hurry up going. Yeah, another pass to the, the near side line caught and out of bounds. Jamal Allen with a 21 yard catch. And Did I just see the name to... Betty White on the sideline? I, I don't. Oh, yes. Apparently, this is the Betty White Thunderdome. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun okay. formation one more time. Poppy. Oh, man. Well, that's going to do it, folks. Um, Big Poppy puts the ball on the ground, and Demon Jones runs it all the way back for the touchdown. Yeah, and I think that one's going to put it away. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to put it away. Uh, unfortunately, Lafayette was in the middle of a really good drive there. No review on the play, so, yep. Uh, ECU kick is up and good, and 21-point lead with a minute 57 to go. Yeah, I think that puts it out of reach. Yeah, uh, wow. Swoosh going to bring it out 24 yards. So see if Lafayette can do anything here. Uh, they're going to have to, they're really going to have to attack this defense. Five receivers and throws deep on first down, but nobody on the other end of that one. Yeah, they, I don't know. We saw somebody on the sideline. He wanted that to go to instead. Yeah. I don't blame the play call. I mean, throw deep, that's pretty much the only thing you can do. Complete over the middle to Givens. Um, 15 catches for him on the night, so a great personal performance, but that is not the kind of yardage you need. They're going to have to either hurry up or take a timeout. Doesn't really look like they're doing either one. Oh, okay, they're running the hurry up. Four receiver shotgun set here for the Cajuns. Back to pass. Green play is going to pick up a pick up a first down, so they're going to hurry up to the line. Yeah, just not enough time here to do much. Yeah, back to throw. Minute 19 to go. Um, yeah, unless Poppy connects on, basically just throws a bomb on this play and scores a touchdown. I think time is pretty much run out for them. Throws over the middle complete. Yeah, I mean, the numbers for Big Poppy, though, just don't reflect what the score truly should be, in my opinion. I mean, he's had a great game, just some major turnovers. Yeah, the turnovers, uh, and in particular the fumbles, is is really what killed them. Uh, two of them taken at for scoop and scores, which, you know, without that, this is a seven-point game. As it's complete to Givens one more time, 16 catches for him on the night. 486 and no touchdowns for Poppy. That's the story of the game right there. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's got to be unheard of. Makes it second and ten. Yeah, that it, it's almost hard to throw for that many yards and not even just accidentally have <laughs> one be a <laughs> touchdown pass. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree with you there. That's uh, that's an impressive stat in a way. 
another one over the middle complete to swoosh so you know what I like that they're still fighting they're still trying to score uh, ooh. Skyler Varus also still playing uh, <laughs> quick, sack, quick sack there and Poppy gonna send a man in motion they are definitely just playing for pride now throws down the far sideline and it's complete well we were saying he didn't have a touchdown and he's over 500 yards and he has a touchdown so great play to uh kind of close things out from Louisiana Lafayette I know it's not how you wanted it to end but um nice showing there at the end you know try to carry that over into next week yeah you know like you said playing for pride um and I if I were them I'd still stay proud you know they had a good game it just the turnovers are just killing them tonight yeah, and the onside kick is not going to be recovered so uh ecu will be able to just take a knee here and kill the clock so good game to louisiana lafayette congratulations to ecu pirates you guys are back on that was <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was a unnecessary roughness <laughs> Yeah, where's the, where's the flag on that one? Um, uh, I, I, I mean, obviously, I know the game doesn't call it, but that's definitely, it's definitely a hit after the whistle. Oh, so that's going to do it. Final score here, ECU 48, Louisiana Lafayette 34. Uh, pretty good game to watch, I'd say. Absolutely good game. You know, it was a defensive battle, in my opinion. Um just turnovers are just you know what what did it in the end yeah Krista Matt's gonna get your player of the game and that's gonna do it for us once again the final score is 48 34 East Carolina comes up with the upset victory you've been watching the ECFL on Twitch join us again tomorrow night at 7 30 for another action-packed college football night Yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, it was a pleasure calling for y'all. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if I can do that, Krista, but I, I will try. Um, everybody have a good night. <laughs>